Well, hello everyone. I'm Yanni from BU for You Gaming, and today we are gonna play some Sniff Adventure. I'm not quite sure how that is supposed to be pronounced, but I'm gonna go with Sniff because it sounds kind of cute, right? Uh, so this is a brand new point-and-click adventure game in which we are gonna be playing as uh, Sniff, this little uh, female dinosaur who's trying to find the perfect gift for her mother's hatch day. So it looks really, really cute, and I'm quite excited to try and play this and uh, apparently there are some collectibles or something there's an encyclopedia and extras here uh, so I guess we're gonna find out what that is all about but for now let's just get going right okay so it doesn't seem like we can choose a slot so I assume it just go for the first one and then apparently there's an autosave um, enable the autosave feature. The game will be saved on the autosave slot after each loading screen and location change. That's probably a good idea. So let's just do that. Oh, this looks cozy. What a lovely little room. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's like me in the morning. Oh boy, mom's hatch day. <gasps> hmm. What are we gonna give her? Ah, yeah, I know how that is. It is always hard making up, uh, fig figuring out what to give someone for a present, right? Oh, that is cute. Someone wasn't impressed. <laughs> oh wow, for mom. Yeah, that's hard to beat. Actually, both of them. I would rather have the, uh, the drawing myself, but... Hmm. Oh, look at the little, little one. Fresh flowers today. Ooh, yeah, my mom loves flowers too. So that might be a good idea. Huh. Okay. Well, let's see what happens. I'm really liking this already. Very cute. <laughs> Ooh, we have pretty flowers. Look at that. That's it. Flowers. A bouquet would make a perfect gift. Especially such a beautiful bouquet like this one. Hmm. What seems to be going on here, though? That's a good question. Oh, encyclopedia updated. Okay, can I actually look at it? Oh, game auto saved. Press and hold the left mouse button when the cursor is over a hotspot. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Okay, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, there we go. Okay. So we can purchase it, we can look at it, and we can talk to it. Oh, let's try talking to it. How does one express such splendor and beauty with mere spoken words? <laughs> Aha. Okay, that's what we did before. This is one of the most beautiful bouquets you've ever laid your eyes on. Hmm. Okay, if I want to purchase it. Hey, no cutting in line. This huge fellow still hasn't finished buying his things, so please wait a bit longer, okay? Um, okay. Well, it's the last one. Last one. Yep. Can you speak to it? Yeah, you'd like to comment how hard it is to get some plants in this city lately. <laughs> it's not the notice you're after. You need to buy that bouquet. <laughs> and considering it's the last one, you'd better act fast. Okay, well, we have an Alberta Dramatus. Mm. Mm. Oh, we can even take it. <laughs> He's probably just going to tell me to wait in line. Excuse me, I'd like to... Hey, wait a moment, girl. I'm currently serving that big guy over here. Man, he's so nervous. I bet he can't decide what to buy. Just watch his head looking all over my place. Oh, there's a queue. Alrighty then. 
Anyway, is that bouquet really the last one you have? It sure is girl, I mean look at this place, it's devoid of any plants. These flowers sure are a bizarre when I come here every day of fourth. Well, I guess I can't blame anyone considering all these supply restocking problems going around recently. Anyway, been really swell chatting with you, but if you'll excuse me, I, as I have a business to run here. Oh, right, right. Hmm. Okay, well, maybe we can do something about the Lamborosaurus here. Uh, oh, but we could also take this little guy. <laughs> That's just gonna say if I do that. Ha! Huh, you need something? Okay, that doesn't really do anything. Then we can look at him. A traveling sales dino. She visits the city every day of 4th to offer plant-based goods to the villagers. Ew. Oh, we have merchandise over here. Maybe try talking with the sales dino instead of merchandise. <laughs> A stack of boxes filled with something. You're not sure if it's edible or just for decoration. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try and try this dude. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Eh, uh, what seems to be the problem? What are you so frantically looking for? M my wallet, I can't find it anywhere. How am I going to buy groceries without money? Oh, hey, hey, easy now. Are you sure you took that wallet with you? What does that wallet of yours look like? Maybe you were robbed. Aha, are you sure you took it with you? I'm absolutely positively sure. I took it along with the key to my room. I never leave without these two. So, have you checked the way back to your house? Maybe it's laying somewhere on the way here. No, no, I had it in my hands just a minute ago. Then I saw that wonderful bouquet and, well, I don't know where I put it after. Talented little fellow, aren't ya? <laughs> what does that wallet of yours look like? Hmm, pink with a decorative light dot pattern. Huh, alrighty then, at least now I know what to look for. Maybe you were robbed? There was nobody in the line before, so I don't think that's the case. Besides, who would want to try to rob a large guy like me, huh? <laughs> okay, you got me there, big guy. Not many folks would fancy being stumped by a huge Lamborosaurus. I ought to go now. Good luck with your search. Thanks. Oh, I hope to find it soon. Okay, well, you were looking at the flowers, right? So what if we try and take another look at this? Search bouquet. There doesn't seem to be anything behind it. Hmm. Okay, we can speak to it. Uh, we can purchase it. Take another look at it. Can we do anything with it? Okay, that doesn't seem to be a thing. Okay, I was kind of thinking maybe it was there. Uh, let's search this then. You check behind the boxes and to your surprise, you found a wallet. Acquired wallet. Oh, there we go. You can use collected items by using the action icon. Uh, okay. What is this up here? Ooh, Wadja Pulka. Okay, so we have a little map here. That's nice. And ah, okay, then we can do it like this. Yes, uh -huh. so we can drop it, we can use it, we can look at it. Hey, shouldn't you return it to its owner? Or we can talk to it. Come on, don't be like that. Return it to its owner. <laughs> oh dear, okay. Well, let's um go back over here and let's try. And what if we just Speak to you again. So, any luck finding that wallet of yours, big guy? No, still looking. I can't seem to find it anywhere. Oh, maybe I should give him that wallet I found behind the boxes. Aha. Okay, so... Press the right mouse button to hide the active item and cancel close windows. Okay, let's do this. Oh, my wallet! You found it! Thank you so much! Now then, I'd like that bouquet, pretty please. <laughs> ah, you've got good taste! It's the last one too! 
Oh, what? No, wait, 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 wait. Oh, good taste indeed. I needed them as the final ingredient for the stew my wife is making today. I'd be in hot water if I came home empty-handed. Mmm. Yeah. Bummer. Ooh, what is this? A rock or an egg or something? Looks like an egg, kind of. Huh, that looks like a necklace. <gasps> oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's not gonna be an easy day. No. Okay, I don't think it was an egg and I don't think it was a stone because that was a lot of jumping for that. Hmm. Oh no. <laughs> well, it didn't really look bad at all. Oh. many scratches and stuff we're gonna end up with before the day is over. Hmm. Okay, so we have a sign of some kind over here. Okay, we can't do anything yet. Mm-hmm. Nope, still can't. Uh, wait, what? What is this? It sounds like it's night time already, so I'm not sure we're gonna manage to give that gift in time. Together with a river of falls, two kilometers. Hmm. What? Scattered woods? Riven where am I? That's a good question. Easy, don't panic. There's gotta be a quick way home. Hmm. Or at least I hope so. Yeah, we have uh, three options. Encyclopedia updated. Okay, how do I check the... Oh, I got an achievement. And so the adventure begins. Um, hmm. Okay, so we have our little map here. Scattered words. Can't seem to zoom or anything. Uh, we can pause game. We can... Oh, the story so far. Aha. Yeah. Uh, so we can read a little bit there. Show dropped items. Well, there isn't really anything. Can I see? Oh, I can. Yeah, let, okay, let's see. Oh, look at all this stuff, guys. Let's have a look at this, right? So, dinosaurs. Oh, look at all these. We have oh, Palogen, Cretaceous, Jurassic, Mesozoic, um, Maya. Okay. So, we have Sniff, Basic Facts, Often Selfish. Sometimes grumpy, she's the heroine of the game. Sniff is an unknown ornithopod with her kind migrating, migrating to Polysimia. Polysimia. No, uh, not that long ago, from a faraway place, she lives in the city of Vyapulka, a large settlement built with herbivore security in mind, with her parents, older sister, and younger brother. Her father is an engineer responsible for the development of Vaya Pulka, while her mother is a famous writer. That's right, her family is quite a big deal in the city. It's no wonder why Sniff seems somewhat spoiled, leading a carefree life far away from the wilderness and dangerous meat eaters. Despite her attitude and flaws, she's a good dinosaur at heart. It takes a while until one can see her good side come out, though not many have the strength or patience to endure for that long. Hmm. 
Uh, okay. Let's read another one. Let's check another one, right? Kind of want to do this. Okay, so... Daspletosaurus. Oh, that's the one we saw in the forest. A big and bulky carnivore, carnivores with a body size that's intimidating to most dinosaurs around. They are very similar to the even larger Tyrannosaurus rex theropods, which appeared later, near the end of the Cretaceous period. Uh, Daspletosaurus are more commonly seen to the south where they live a territorial, solitary life and they don't smell that nice. <laughs> if you have one of these dinosaurs as a neighbor, it's a sign to move out as quickly as possible, especially if you're small enough to be eaten in a simple single chomp of their huge jaws. The only way to get rid of it is by inviting another Despletosaurus or their arch enemy to the north, Gorgosaurus. These big theropods are the main reason why peace-seeking dinosaurs began to gather in larger groups, creating cities with big walls and fortifications, like Wyapulka. The Daspletosaurus figure often appears in tales, mostly to frighten children. Ew. I don't know about you guys, but I actually really like these stories. <laughs> then we have the little one here. Alberto Dromeos. Alberto Dromeos. A shy and quiet ornithician. Ornithician. Yeah, is that how you say it? Ornithician. Hmm. Dinosaurs, and they live a secretive life in forests, but they do appreciate the support and protection from the larger herbivores, and quite a lot of them have some affinity with Wyapulka. Some even decided to start a traveling trade with the Wyapulkians. Upon noticing a threat, Alberta Dromeos will run away swiftly. They are really fast, so it's better to approach, approach one calmly if you really want to strike a conversation. Hmm. And then they choose to be traders, where they have to interact with a lot of people. That's kind of odd. Parasaurolophus, just like other large dinosaurs, live on the lower floors of Viapulka's buildings. Occupying higher floors would be too dangerous for them, as they could easily slip on the narrow stairs. Actually, it would be equally dangerous for other and smaller citizens living in the same building. Being stumped over or hit by the stiff tail isn't the most pleasant experience. The long crest on their head is actually hollow inside and works akin to bent tubes passing the inhaled air. Similarly to Lambeosaurus, the set crest amplifies the voice of Parasaurolophus, making their calls much louder. So loud, in fact, that these hadrosaurs are asked sometimes to fill in the role of an alarm clock sound. Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's check out the last one here. Lambrosaurus. Their size and social life makes them unlikely to be attacked by a hungry meat eater. Living in herds, they prefer open spaces. That's for the better, to be honest. Just like many other head-crested hadrosaurs, Lambrosaurus can be really loud, having their voice amplified by the air chambers inside said crest. Not everyone likes the noise, especially during the nighttime. On top of that, these dinosaurs are really big, and while they aren't as clumsy as Euplucephalus, uh, their rigid body and tail, which is stiffened by ossified tendons, can cause some trouble and make interacting with smaller dinosaurs troublesome. Yet a few of them decided to stay in Wyapulka, along with some other hadrosaurs, trying to adapt their loud lifestyle to the new place. It seems like they're making good progress, as fewer and fewer houses have been getting destroyed recently. <laughs> uh, I like this. Okay, I'm not sure if we got... Well, we did get... No. Oh, okay, so... Ooh, okay, so these it seems like we just have access to. Uh, and we have uh, some stuff in here as well. We have... We haven't found any items. And what is the last one? Then we have a glossary uh, where we can read about some stuff. So if we just pick one, ooh, then we can read about the different types of uh, dinos here. Okay, I think that was an enough, enough reading for right now. We're going to read some more of this later. Uh, let's just continue with the story a little bit here. So we have our little sign over here. It's not an interactive sign. The best you can do is simply look at it. 
<laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, can I grab it? Vandalizing public property won't be taken lightly around here. Besides, the sign is planted too deeply. Okay, so we can choose to go there or we can go into unknown. We have middle path and left path. I think we're just going to try and take the right one. Ooh, oh no, someone is there. Mysterious hollow. Um, something is definitely lurking in this strange hollow. You shouted in the hollow's general direction, but nobody or nothing replied. Ooh. Oh, there's something up here. Pine cone. Can I take it? Might not. Yeah, you're just not tall enough to grab the cone, even when you stand on your toes. Hmm. Okay, well, we do have this fella over here. Hesperonychus. Oh, come on. Looks like a grumpy Hesperonychus. You wonder how he can be asleep while snoring so awfully loud. <laughs> you try to wake him up as gently as possible. Hey! But it's not very effective. Maybe you should try using a less gentle method of yelling. <laughs> you try to wake up the feathered creature again, now with a much more resolute approach. Yo! <laughs> However, he doesn't seem too to be too happy about it. Yeah, no, I don't like waking up that way myself. Ah, don't you have an hourglass? Why did you wake me up? Whoa, easy there now. I just wanted to ask some questions, that's all. Honest. Ah, uh, there goes my sleep. All right, all right, but you'd better be quick about it, lizard lady. Uh, do you know how to get to Wire Polka? Yeah, heard that name before. And what about it? You want to get there? Yes, yes, I do. Mm. Tough luck then, kid. You're going to have a pretty long walk. You're not even on the right side of the river. You should be dragging your yellow hide to the bridge. Alrighty, and where is it? It's me. Somewhere in the northern edge of the woods, methinks. Whoa, now that was so useful. <laughs> You're very welcome. Glad to be of service. Don't look at me like that. What I'm saying is that the journey ain't gonna be safe or short. You'd better probably prepare yourself for this kind of adventure. Where am I, anyway? Don't remember ever strolling around these paths. Do I look like a flying information booth or something? You're in scattered woods, lady. Ah, that popular tourist spot with a waterfall view. I think I read about it once. Um, let's say it, you, it used to be popular. Some dinos turned this neighborhood into a real hot mess. I can clearly see a perfect example right here. <laughs> what are you yammering? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> This forest gives me the creeps. How do I get out of here? Well, if you get to the northern part of the woods, then... Wait, no, no woods. I want to get out of this forest. Ah, will you let me finish, you ungrateful brat? Rivena River splits this forest into a southern and northern part. And since you're on the wrong side of the river, you need to find a bridge first, cross it, and then finally leave this place. Ah, ah, alrighty, I see. You mentioned before something about preparing myself properly. What do you have in mind? This should be a non-brainer, even for a creature of your intelligence. Any object that isn't nailed to the ground could be useful at one point of your journey, right? Like a rope or food supplies, some rocks to start a fire? I guess you could really use a backpack to carry all this junk, though. Oh, a backpack sounds like a great idea. Yes, I'm known for having good ideas. Even when I'm walking up in the middle of the night. I can't stand this guy. <laughs> so, any idea where to get a backpack? Why, of course, from a backpack tree, obviously. Wait, what? Really? Ah, no, you doofus. If you didn't take one with you, you'll have to make one yourself. Oh. So, how do I make one? Uh, excuse me, 
You're totally hopeless. Stop thinking on your own, will ya? For crying out loud, to create a backpack you need two things. Something big and durable to hold your stuff and some kind of a strap to carry it on your back. And where can I... No, enough! I don't want to hear any more of your stupid questions. You already wasted enough of my time and I'm not your babysitter. I'm out of here. <laughs> don't wake someone up in the middle of the night. <laughs> With this new information you decide to look for backpack materials. Ooh, updated encyclopedia. Um, okay, so let's just immediately check at it. Uh, so items. No, okay. Uh, encyclopedia. There's locations. Uh, glossary. Does it only talk about front fossil? It does talk a lot about different. There's nothing about backpacks in here. Hmm. Well, we have flora. Horsetail, cycads. Uh, okay, maybe actually the, it was just a creature that got added, right? So we had this fella. Yeah, not as grumpy when well rested. This young and vocal Hesperonychus lives in the scattered witch shrubs. Given his relatively small size, Hesperonychus is one of the smallest North American dinosaurs. One can often see him perched on high branches, which are perfect for avoiding being bu bullied by the nasty Trudon gang or for mocking others and getting away with it. Although he can't fly, he can glide away to safety from a dangerous situation or when our noisy heroine is around. <laughs> Hesperonychus are carnivores, but since they're so small, they aren't considered to be a grave danger by many. In fact, they can be useful in catching pests like small mammals and insects. Well, if you want help from them, you probably would prefer to not wake them up in the middle of the night, right? What is this? Oh, Theropoda, Mag Marginocephalia, Ornithopoda. Okay, so we have like a phylogenetic tree here. That's cool. I like this. Okay, but we can't click on anything. Um, hmm. Okay, well, I guess we're just gonna have to try and look around a little bit. We could check out one of these. Let's start with one of them. Horsetails. These plants are the only lasting members of a once much larger group, which dates way back to the Paleozoic era. The arrangement of leaves and walls uh, around a segmented stem, which gives the plants their char char characteristic now I can't even speak, appearance is a distinctive feature of horsetails. Because their stems contain high amounts of an abrasive chemical called silica, horsetails can be used to clean and polish wood or stone. Hmm. Okay, it might not be the worst thing to actually check these out, because it might give us some tips on what we want. Okay, but I think we're going to read a little bit more of these uh, next time. Uh, but I think we still can't really get to this at the moment, can we? But maybe we can come back for it. Uh, so let's try to uh, move a little bit further. Oh, we can actually see the branch. Hmm. Okay, well, it looks like we found our way to the river. Piece of vine. Oh, I would like this. Can I grab it? Ah, now we have uh, a strap, right? Can I... Let's see, uh, look at it, it's a piece of sturdy vine, yep, mm -hmm. okay, well we have the river over there, apart from that, right path, okay, let's just have a look, I'm gonna get lost in here, okay, so this, that's where the sign is, at least we have the map, that's gonna help a lot, so this is the branch from the, the little dude, I wonder what is that up there, that's like a little white thingy, oh, okay, let's just try to... Walk over this way. Mm. Oh, red fruit. I can't even see the red part of it. Uh, let's see. Some delicious fruits and herbs are growing here. Okay, can I get one? It's not ripe yet. Ah, that's why it's not... <laughs> it's not red. But it says it's a red fruit. Hmm. Okay, it doesn't seem like there is anything else to do here. So let's try and go back again. Oh, middle path. Then we're just gonna end back. Aha! Yeah, nice. Okay. Mm, can I do anything with it? Oh, here we go. White flowers. The latest trend in dino fashion. White flowers. Can
Can I take one? You're already holding something in your hands. You should drop it before trying to pick something else. Oh, so we can only carry one thing. Ooh, a withered branch. Hmm. This branch is all withered up and devoid of any life. Okay, if we can only carry one thing at a time, uh, that's gonna get kind of tricky. Ooh, okay. So we probably can't take that either. Yeah, no. Hmm, okay, well I need something. I don't know if this can be turned into a backpack. Okay, what if I take this and just drop it? And uh, then we go over here and try and grab this. Acquired white flowers. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, do we have any information about the white flowers in here? Just because I'm curious. Flowering plants. Also known as angiosperms, they are the newest members in the plant group. They appeared on Earth in the Cretaceous. Before their appearance, colorful flowers and true fruits were non-existent. Although flowering plants are still new, they are spreading rapidly and someday will become dominant. Not every flower smells nice, but all of them certainly look pretty. That's why they are getting more and more popular as a decorative item, especially among the female portion of the dinosaur population. When not picked from the plant, the flower may turn into a fruit. Its main objective is to disperse all of the seeds stored inside. Some lightweight fruits use wind for that, although they are not edible. But some are purposely very colorful, juicy and tasty. That's right, they are meant to be eaten. The seeds remain fine though. They reach new areas when pooped out. <laughs> Which is very true. Um, okay, so... Well, there's still no information in here when it comes to items. Okay, so if I go over here, no. Okay. Hmm. Um. Well, now we have the flowers. Can I like? If I take you. Okay, we can look at them. We can use them. What if I use them on this? How exactly do we want to use these two items together? I don't know. <laughs> Um, hmm, okay, well, you know what, I think we're gonna take you, and then we're just gonna drop you right there, and then I think we're gonna grab the rope again, and then we're gonna have to leave this here, since we can't really, I don't feel like we have, I think we need this for the backpack, right? But I need something else to actually make the backpack. Um, okay, so we're gonna try and go this way next time, but we will see. Oh, interesting pebble. Ooh, let's just go and grab that. Well, of course, again, we can't grab it. But that looks... Oh! you Oh, we can! Achievement unlocked. One tiny pebble for a dinosaur. You found a secret pebble. These little stones are used to unlock additional goodies in extras menu. <gasps> a new bonus unlocked. Ooh, okay. Well, sorry guys, this video is getting a little longer than planned. Uh, you found one out of 27 pebbles. Pebbles name and the location found. Extra to... Oh, okay. So we got some concepts at Sniff's family concept. Oh, I like this. Many faces of Sniff. Lamborosaurus wallet concept. <laughs> Desplatosaurus concept. Uh -huh. Sales dinos wagon concept. Ooh. How to create a backpack. <laughs> a red fruit concept. Unused red fruit pop-up sketch. Crab escape a pop-up sketch. Okay, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here uh, to look at. But I don't think I want to keep looking because we're just going to end up in a whole uh, a lot of spoiler territory. And I kind of want to discover the game myself. Apparently there's a crab somewhere too. Oh, there's a high cliff over here. Okay, well... Before I get distracted again, we are going to end this episode right here. And then we're going to continue with this next time. But I'm really liking this, guys. I know there's a lot of reading. And of course, that's personal preference if you want to read all those things. But I actually like it. And it looks like they put a lot of effort into making it kind of funny um, and interesting. So it's like part of the story, at least to me. So I am going to be reading it. Uh, and you guys, are to, if you're watching, you're just going to have to suffer through. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching this video at least, so do take care everyone and happy gaming!